<laughs> well, Coach Jenner, congratulations tonight. Defense set the tone early. Yeah, I can't say enough about those guys. We had two starters go down, and like one of them went down like 725. So I've never had that happen before. So I can't say enough about our defense, man. Those guys, they, they play every week. Defense travels in the playoffs. So uh, hopefully we'll go. I think we're going to South Aiken. We'll probably you go are. to South Aiken next week, so we'll see where we're at. Well, that sets the tone for a 14 nothing lead. Having the two touchdown lead after the fourth, after the first quarter, what kind of momentum did that set for y'all? Yeah, I mean, that, they're a good football team. I, you know, I told you early in the week when I was watching film, I was like, man, these guys are pretty good. Got really good bodies. They got like five or six guys that can really play. And uh, I'm just happy with our guys come out and do what they did. I mean, we put their, their foot on the throat in the second half and played the way we're capable of playing. And then Terry McKethan got into a rhythm. Yeah, we need a Terry to pop one. He ain't popped one in a long time. He got that one tonight. And, uh, that's a big play for us. Anything Terry, and with Terry's rolling, we're a pretty good football team. How did that open things up for other things on your offense? Deuce threw a touchdown pass, Deuce, yeah. Yeah, Darren. You know, I, I, I tell you all the time, man, I, we might be the latest blossoming offense in the history of high school football, but we're going to blossom at some point in time. Hopefully it's next Friday at the uh, at, at second round, South Aiken. Well, just what are some other things that stuck up tonight? Who are the two starters that got injured? Uh, Brody Cook got a little uh, stomach bug there uh, at 725. Oh, yeah, no. He, he's been so good for us. He's 10th grader. What man, position he is he? Hard. Defensive end. Okay, he's and the other really guy? He's a really good player. And Gamble, Deshaun Gamble banged his knee last week against South Lawrence. And we thought he'd be able to go, but, you know, we couldn't risk it tonight. So maybe he'll play next week. You want a playoff game at home on yeah. campus. Yeah. How, how is that? We're obviously making history every Friday night here. And, uh, that was cool. I mean, uh, we had one play, a first round game here in two years, and it's time to get that monkey off our back, and we did that tonight. And, uh, you know, this, this group's so much fun to coach, man. I, I love this group to death. I'm just ready to get, get back on that bus on next Friday and get play. How proud of you are you of your defense, just setting the time? Uh, you know, what, what, what else can you say about our defense? I mean, those guys, they girls have been our rock all week, every game this season. And, uh, you know, if you go into the season as a head coach, you got some things that you, you think you know, but as a head coach, you don't really know. And I thought our defense would struggle a little bit. But gosh, they played great this season.